Hi and welcome back. I'm Andy Polly, and this is part two of painting UV textures with ZBrush. So what we have here is our model that we've done some Z projecting and some poly painting on. Let's turn off our image plane. All right, and you can see we have a seam there that we'll need to fix, you know, address that in Photoshop and fix that up. All right, let's jump into UV Master. I have it docked over here on the right side. You can find it on under the Z Plugins tab, UV Master, once you have it installed. First thing we want to do is click Work on Clone. Okay. And you can see it added a, a new tool there. Let's click Check Seams to see where we're at to start with. Okay, it's done a fairly decent job splitting where we want it to, right up around the head, um, the neck. We want to protect this face here, these faces, and try and run that seam around the ear a bit better. Okay, so let's enable control painting and click protect. Okay, you notice I've already done slight protect job there, maybe a little bit better. Every time you make a change to the model, make sure you click on Wrap. That's going to update it. Okay. And let's click Attract and try and pull those seams right down this, this neck jaw line here. And we'll run one right down the center. Draw size down and one right across the lips here. Let's click unwrap to update it. And that did a fairly decent job. Okay, and let's flatten it and see how it looks. That should be good enough for government work. So Let's move along. Unflatten this guy. Now next thing we want to do is copy the UVs from this clone. We're going to take those UVs and paste it to our original horse object here. Okay. So copy UVs. Let's go back to our horse tool. And paste those UVs. Alright, now if you notice, we'll go to the geometry and lower the subdivisions. What's happening here is we've not yet been able to extract that texture information from the high res to the low res, but that's what we'll do right now. So let's go to texture. Go to texture map here. Click on new texture. Alright, we're going to go new from polypaint. That's going to give us our texture right there. Let's clone that. And you can see it pops up here in our texture window. All right, we have that selected. Good. Let's go back up here to the geometry. And if we lower it now, you can see that we have now applied that high res texture to the low poly mesh. Okay, so we're ready to start exporting. Now, with the texture here, let's go to the texture tab at the top. One thing that ZBrush does is it flips the textures, or the UV maps, in the vertical position. So we need to flip it back before we export. Okay, so flip in vertical direction. You see the UVs flipped there. Let's go ahead and export it. Put it in our folder. We'll call this horse underscore T for texture. Okay. Now we're ready to export our horse. So we'll go to export. Make sure we're going to the right place here. And we'll call this horse 
OBJ. Then it'll be horse OBJ dot OBJ. Sounds good. Okay. Now let's run a little test here. Let's go into Photoshop. Let's open our texture. Horse texture. As a default, when you export from ZBrush, it'll uh, go in a PSD. Now, I like working that way because you can actually just go in real quick and start making adjustments on a PSD file. All right. Let's go into Maya. And we'll go File, Import. And we got our horse OBJ. Import that guy in. Let's go ahead and assign a shader to it. Material, go with blend. Maybe we want Lambert. We'll just put a Lambert on there. Okay. And attach a file texture to that node. And gotta zoom through and grab it real quick. This guy right here, the horse texture. And there we go. We've now imported uh, all of your texture information from that high, the high poly mesh to the low poly mesh. Now all that's left to do is go through and adjust your normals and get that guy softened up. My name is Andy Polly, and thanks.